Hi everybody, Dr. Scott Farrell, board certified chiropractic neurologist and founder and owner of Functional Restoration, my private practice that focuses on your best brain and your body health. Today's topic, cortisol, a hormone that is a beautiful hormone when functioning well, and if it's skewed a little bit too high or too low, can make you feel either a little tired or maybe even a little overstimulated. So where does it come from? It comes from your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands live on top of your kidney and they respond to stress, but they should be idling at a pretty healthy rhythm most times and most days. So there's a rhythm to it. In the morning, cortisol is nice and high. It gives you energy. It boosts your metabolism. It raises your blood sugar and it helps you get through the day. As the day goes on, cortisol tapers off and gets lower and lower. And by the time you go to bed, it should be nice and low. Your adrenals do not need to produce a lot of cortisol when it's sleepy time. So you can probably guess a single point cortisol collection doesn't make a lot of sense clinically. We do a four point cortisol collection with a test kit that you actually do in the comfort of your own home. It's with saliva. And in the morning we want to see a nice healthy high cortisol rhythm and at night we want to see a nice low one. If your cortisol levels low in the morning, chances are you're going to report symptoms such as fatigue, difficulty getting motivated and getting going, and it also can play into difficulty losing weight. If at night your cortisol rhythm is very high, you'll have difficulties falling asleep. You're going to feel like you're a little over-energized. So I want a saliva sample at morning around breakfast time, another at lunch, another at dinner, and a last one at bedtime to see how that rhythm is and what's elevated, what's looking pretty healthy, or what's looking a little depleted. That gives us a much better window into adrenal health as a whole. And from there, we can come up with natural routines and natural supplement protocols to help optimize your own hormone chemistry for your own best stress response. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cortisol. I hope that was a nice little insight into what this beautiful hormone does when it's working well and some of the symptoms it might contribute to when it's not working as ideally as it should. I'm Dr. Scott Thero wishing you your very best brain, your best body, and your best life. Thanks so much.